Welcome back to Store University Lesson 1, How to Value a Business. I'm Chris Volk, CEO of Store Capital. In our first video, we discussed the first crucial step in business valuation, which is how to understand the needs of the seller. Now, once you understand the needs of the seller, you move along to step two, which is how to calculate the cash flow of a business, which is to say calculating the cash flow of the business you're buying. And what is this? Basically, it's company earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization, or commonly called EBITDA. And from this, you must subtract average annual amount of maintenance capital expenditures. The expenditures are not just the ones you might pay for next year, or the ones the business occurred last year. Instead, we are better off using a smooth number over a multiple period of years to capture those years where outsized expenditures must be incurred. So think about a restaurant. Every year, some small piece of equipment may need to be replaced. But every fifth year or so, there will be likely some major re-imaging. This occasional year of having outsized capital needs is actually normal for most businesses. One thing to note, you may think that you can run the business better than it's being run. Maybe so. But you are best off not to initially consider any projected improvements in the cash flow of the company. Doing so means that you're offering to pay the seller for your own expected added cash flows. And it also means that the valuation will rely on needed cash flow improvements, which can increase your valuation and purchase risk. Now, we're almost halfway through our journey in how to value a business. In our next video, I will discuss other people's money and borrowing against the cash flow of a company that you wish to purchase. Until then, I'm Chris Folk, and I thank you for joining me on this valuation journey.